52. Alright, so we're going to continue now with some more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Uh, I apologize that the last session was again so short. I started it the same day I ended Echoes. And uh, regretfully it did not go nearly as long as I wanted it to. Um, that's the price you pay sometimes. A, a little bit of give and take in the world. I also want to say that I'm, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, it's not like a cold or anything, uh, or, you know, obviously not my throat. I don't know if you guys even hear when I'm actually sick, but I certainly do, and it's not fun at all. I hate sore throats. All right, assuming the incredibly uncomfortable position again. Last time I think I landed in the thorn jungle. There you go, destroy the eastern energy signature. What the... Okay. Oh, they're telling me that now that's also a place I can go to. Brio Fire. There's one here, right? And I'm not just losing my mind. Yeah, here we go, see? Destroy the Western Signature. Let's look around. Damn. It's very bright. <laughs> it's a very, very bright object. Wow. Oh, wow, this is actually a logbook entry. Research. Hello. Oh yeah, what happens is some enemies in this game actually have hyper modes of their own. And I believe on higher difficulties... Like as you can see, they're really ridiculously strong. Fuck. You might not even really be able to hurt them. And yeah, then they're... Hyper mode runs out. I think what they really want you to do is fight back with hyper mode. Armor power trooper. Susceptible to explosive attacks. But again, I don't really like to use hyper mode, so I'm going to avoid using it. What's he doing? He's using cover. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, you kill him instantly. Okay. Well, maybe that is more efficient. I never said I was that smart at this game, so... Oh, sweet. Just what I need. I never said I was that good at this game. I don't know enemies off the back of my hand like the other two. That's nice. An energy tank right there, waiting to get picked up. Energy shield. They're coming through the ceiling. Well, that was a waste. So, can I get through here? Wait, how do I get up there? Alright, well... First thing, let me go back and recharge all my energy. Oh, wait, I got fully charged. I was about to say, yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. You can certainly progress this way, right? Oh, yeah, the morph ball looks so different in this game. Energy lines look like they're coming through the ceiling. No, I don't think there's anything I can grab onto. I might not be able to go this way yet. I don't know. That's why they might be telling me to go check out Brio Fire first. Alright, well, I'll do that then. See if there's anything at Brio Fire that I need to do. Now, the answer was probably right in front of me, but in any event, let's just enter the ship. Alright, we'll check out Brio Fire then. Or the Fiery Air Dock. But yeah, Brio is very similar to like Talon and Talon 4 and, and Zebes. Where uh It has like a very diverse environment. So it has like an ice area that I think we go to in a little bit. It has, you know, a cliffside area, kinda like the ruins. 
It has, you know, this area, which is like Magmore Caverns. I, rem I immediately was very reminded of Talon 4, and it even has an ancient race that, well, still lives here, somewhat. But they left behind a bunch of lore. I think this is something to scan, right? It's fuel gel. Substance is highly volatile. See, the, doesn't this immediately remind you of Magmore Caverns? What the hell? Gel spout is ignited. Can I ignite it? Yeah, there you go. Fuel gel hurts you. It's it's very it's not good to touch. So no touching. What is this? A bust? I'm able to enter from this side, so I probably bust out of the other side at a later point. Oh crap, I thought the sound cut out. What is this? They're pumping fuel gel. He can zap me at close range. This research? Yes, it is. Large Brio coffers. And there's the small version. Alright, I'll be jumping that. High temp beams could melt the ice. Well, unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have one. Or maybe Samus does still have it, and she just, you know, likes a challenge. I don't know. Who am I to, to, to judge her? I don't know why anyone else would get rid of the upgrades they so obviously worked very hard for. Maybe ripped off of enough force. Come on, get off. I wonder how they make the walls glow like this. It's really cool. The Age of Schism. A blue morph ball. Alright, here we go. I gotta get a ride from the little critters. I gotta avoid... Whatever they're gonna take me up to. Alright, let's see if I can go to the left here at the last second. There you go. I got rewarded for my my troubles. And the, the missile launcher, I think, fires slower in this game. It's real weird. I'm pretty sure it does compared to Echoes. Damn, I landed on enough immediately. This leads to the right way. Except I can't go here either. Hmm. Ironically, for a place that's supposed to be, you know, very high in temperature, there's a lot of stuff that's frozen here. Hoppers. Oh, I know that theme. I think it's a legit copy paste from the Phase on Mines theme. Uh oh. Yeah, this is supposed to happen. I think that's why I'm supposed to come here first. what you saw growing out of the space pirates you gotta get rid of all your phase on really quick basically dump a whole energy tank Samus, we just received very abnormal readings from your life support systems are you okay 
No, I'm very sick. I'm actually not joking. We are downloading the diagnostic data from your suit to further analyze the situation. We will contact you All right. if we have any more information. So yeah, that's a thing now, I think, from now on. If you stay in hyper mode for too long... Oh, hello, it's Rundus. It's my buddy. He looks really cool with the PED. But uh, if you stay in hyper mode for too long, you enter red hyper mode. I don't know if there's like an official name for it. I think it's corrupted hyper mode. And when you enter that... Oh, of course. You basically are at a chance that you could instantly die if you don't expel all your phase on. I think it's only if you stay in it for too long. Cold based attacks. Well, I don't have any. Only I still have my buddy Rundus. Still hit him, even though a lock on wouldn't. I think one of the things that they really wanted you to do in this game was use hyper mode as a legitimate crutch to kill everything really, really quickly. But in order to, you know, make it so you don't walk through the game, you know, just willy-nilly getting rid of energy tanks. You just stun me. They make it so you can potentially instantly die. See, like, look, it kills everything really quickly. Ow! He's still hosing me down. I didn't know it slows you. But yeah, hyper mode does a lot of damage, but has its drawbacks. Age of War. a bomb slot okay almost looks like one concussive blast oh will the morph ball actually fit in here oh I was not expecting that. It did not look like it was uh, deep enough to hold the morph ball. one's obvious. Is there another one over here? Nice. Okay. Well, the puzzle's fairly simple. I wonder, does this do anything now or later? What? Oh. <laughs> yes, I love motion controls. Literally pump it. Oh, wait, but can I go in here now? I don't think so. Okay, well, maybe I wasn't supposed to go in there. Almost like I need to get in there. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something up here, but I can't reach it. Fuel drill regular is not engaged. Oh. What is it going to do? Roll out of position? Yep. That's helpful.
And one thing you, you don't have to do, I think you can do it in the other games, but if you charge your beam immediately after firing it, you don't fire the extra shot. One thing that they did in Prime Hunters, which was really weird, is they made it so that Samus fires three power beam shots automatically just from firing the beam once. I, I really didn't understand that, but... Eh, it's whatever. Oh shit, we actually have the big ones. Fourth one? What's it doing? It was stuck. What an idiot. Oh shit, it almost flew in my face and hit me. Wonder what Jackass thought that would be funny. Damn. Blew the whole room up. Is that the way out? I'm hoping. Oh, we have my friends, the electrified fucking pill bug. It's more of the spider guardians. Oh, what a bunch of jackasses. Hate those motherfuckers. <laughs> Let me at least get the scan on them. Phazon pill bugs. Unknown compound within ice formations. Invulnerable to weapon fire. Control. Oh, okay, good. This isn't research, is it? Alright, there's another stage of it. Alright, those glowing strips, I know you can... What the hell? Oh, I was about to say it's not laying me out. Those glowing strips I know you can jump onto. What were these things? Gel puffers. Alright, so as you can see, now it's pumping, yeah. But here we go. This is pretty cool. I like that. A little cutscene. Ah, oh, okay. Well, might as well scan it in the meantime. Stuck in an open position and is constantly pouring fuel gel. Raw fuel gel is unstable and can easily be disrupted. Let's wait for it to get into position, though. Burn that. Oh, really? A miss—a free missile expansion. I guess they throw a lot of expansions at you in this game. They don't—they don't hide them that much. Okay, I just can't get down that hallway at all. the hell is this? Oh, this is a save station. It did not look, again, the save stations in this game look so different. Did not look like a save station at all. I'm like, what is that? Is that like a pillar of fucking fuel gel about to erupt? Anyway... As you can see, life on this planet is completely adapted to fuel gel. Again, I don't know if any of them want to take a bath in it, but they can handle it to some degree. What the hell? Extreme cold could probably stop the flow. I actually think I remember what the extreme cold you get is. Again, this game, I don't know. Beam stacking, so...
Oh shit, that was close. The trade blows. Oh wow, it actually explodes outward. That's no good. Oh, crap, what are these things? Gel bugs. That hurt. Basically like the, uh, the things from Prime 2. Little balls that roll around on the walls. 